In this week's video, which is covering week uh, five and six, we're going to discuss tools of the trade. And this is very important because depending on uh, what uh, area you go into the HVAC and refrigeration fill, it's very important to have the right tools for the right job. And having the best tools, in my opinion, will take you your whole career because uh, if you take care of your tools and you get very good quality tools, it will last for a lifetime. And unfortunately, when you buy cheaper tools because maybe you cannot afford it in the beginning, the problem can happen where uh, the tools would uh, wear out, break, and things like that, and you have to replace them. So it's best to buy, in my opinion, uh, the higher quality tools, not to say the higher price, but the higher quality tools for sure. And you can buy tools that's high quality, that's on sale at supply houses and things like that, that will um, save you money in the long run. And in the, in the second point I could talk about when it comes to buying tools is um, buy tools only when you need the tools. Do not buy tools that you don't need and because you may not know at that point is it usable for you or not. You would know when you have a job and you need a special tool to complete the job, that's when you need it. And you know if you're doing that type of work, you will use it over and over again. There's too many times I see new guys that start out because it's something new and it seemed to be important to them at that point, and to find out that it is a tool that really unusable. I see it all the time. So ask around before you buy tools, and second thing, buy high quality tools, and third thing is to uh, only buy tools when you need it. Now, in our field, the tools of the trade, because HVAC covers a great deal of uh, specific areas, such as electricity, refrigeration, air conditioning, heating, pipe fitting, sheet metal, you need special tools for all those things. And if you don't do that type of work, you don't need it. So let's talk about some of these things. Let's start with hand tools. Hand tools are something that everyone needs. No matter what uh, trade you're in, you're going to need screwdrivers, hammers, you're going to need wrenches and things like that because you will be taking things apart. Um, it, like cordless drills, it's a very handy tool that you can use. But uh, hand tools, and another video that you will look at, you see some of the basic hand tools that's out there. But when it comes to refrigeration tools, uh, it's uh, tools like a manifold set, the gauges that you use to test the uh, refrigeration pressure, the refrigerant pressures inside of a refrigeration or air conditioning system. And that's something you have to have. The thing is, is that um, if you do re uh, refrigeration on a regular basis, you may need multiple uh, manifold sets because you may be working on two or three different pieces of equipment or a very large system that need to test the pressure in different locations. So having high quality uh, and commercial grade uh, manifold sets will be necessary on that point. So when you get those type tools, it's, uh, it's good to, when you do that, have multiple. Other type tools for refrigeration, maybe you have, sure you have like a micron gauge to, to, when you're pulling a vacuum on the system that you're able to pull the, uh, uh, the system down to a very low uh, deep vacuum and having a micron gauge is a tool that you have to have to be able to measure uh, that vacuum. Another thing that um, comes to refrigeration, of course, vacuum pumps. So vacuum pumps is getting, uh, they come in very various sizes, but you have to get the one that fits what you need. So in other words, uh, all micron gauges are designed to measure deep vacuums, but if your vacuum pump cannot pull down to a deep vacuum, it's been useless. So getting a vacuum pump that pulls down to at least 20 microns is, uh, is recommended of using, but at the same time, how fast can it pull it down? So that's where they rate the vacuum pumps by CFMs, cubic feet per minute. And a small vacuum pump may only do maybe two or three uh, CFMs, okay, under full load, of course. And there's other ones that can pull a lot higher than that. So the larger the CFM rating on it, the faster it can pull it down to a deep vacuum. 
So if he's only dealing with residential heating and cooling, it doesn't make sense to get a very large and spend extra money for it because a, a smaller, like a three CFM vacuum pump can do it for you. But you will not use that same vacuum pump on a larger refrigeration system or a commercial air conditioning system because it uh, will take forever to pull it down. So that's when you spend extra money because you need it to pull the, um, the system down to a deep vacuum very quickly. Other tools for refrigeration is like leak detectors, like electronic leak detectors or uh, other type tools to use a, um, a, a fluorescent dye in the system to, to be able to uh, locate leaks with the uh, ultraviolet uh, light. Uh, many other type of leak detectors. So some type of uh, leak detectors is a refrigeration tool also. Um, of course, when it comes to uh, refrigeration, uh, using uh, things like uh, checking pressures and uh, or cutting copper tubing and things like that. Heating tools, they're special tools. Most heating systems that use this gas use some type of flame rectification system where it uh, actually reads the microamp reading through the flame. So you need a special meter that can read very low current uh, through the uh, uh, through that circuit. And having a microamp meter would be advisable at that point because if not, you wouldn't know if uh, the flame and the sensor is actually making a contact or is working correctly. Um, also, micro, uh, uh, things to read gas pressure, such as a manometer. A manometer is a tool that reads inches of water column. Uh, so in other words, it's pressure less than one pound of pressure, one PSI. So it takes that and take it to a very small so you be able to read the gas pressure to regulate uh, regulators and regulate gas valves and maybe even meters. So if that's another tool for heating. And there's many other types like uh, thermometers to be able to read the temperature of the uh, supply or the temperature of the return ducts. So you'd be able to read differentials or even the heat inside of coming right out the top of the furnace where it's very high temperature. So, uh, thermometers that be able to read high temperatures is very important for the heating side. When it comes to air conditioning, a lot of the similarities with air conditioning and refrigeration is the same. So you still need gauges, you still need other type of things for leak detection because it is air conditioning is a refrigeration uh, type tool. But when it comes to air conditioning, there's like reading the humidity of the air, uh, a psychrometer, a sling psychrometer to be able to read the humidity or the dry bulb temperature or the wet bulb temperature and be able to do calculations determining how much latent heat is actually in the uh, air that you're trying to uh, remove the heat from. So a sling psychrometer is a very good tool. Or some type of air conditioning measuring the airflow. So other tools like magnet helic gauge to read the static pressure or other type gauges to read, uh, manometers to read these, uh, the pressures in the ductwork, uh, or the, uh, reading the airflow. So these things are really important to be able to get the, the flow of the, uh, the pressures inside the ductwork. So we have to understand that uh, when it comes to air conditioning, you're looking at one more variable than the refrigeration side, but you're looking at variables dealing with the air. In the air, you need to know, like I say, uh, the amount of heat content in the air or uh, the velocity of the air or the CFMs of the air. Now, going to sheet metal, those are usually hand tools like shears we use for bending or folding, uh, different type of tools that you would use as a technician if you uh, an installer. An installer have to have sheet metal tools because every time they're in the field, they are uh, connecting things to the ductwork. And the ductwork is very important because it's uh, carrying the heat or the conditioned air uh, to the different rooms or the uh, different sections or zones. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is pipe fitting tools. Pipe wrenches and uh, threaders and uh, reamers and things uh, even for copper. You need to have things to be able to bend copper tubing uh, and use tubing benders for that. And so uh, and things like dealing with all these different tools, these different areas, deal with how to uh, work in the HVAC field based on all these different things you may end up doing. You may not know all these. You may be strictly refrigeration 
or it may be strictly an installer where you just deal with pipe fitting tools and sheet metal tools and have hand tools. But no matter what, these tools is necessary for the technician or installer in the heating, cooling, air conditioning, refrigeration field. So understanding having the right tools, using the right tools for the right job is very important.